so we're here at Computex. So who are you? I'm Seishu Mathopedi, General Manager of Mobile Devices Business Unit in Texas Instruments. So I, for example, here there's a Nomad 4 device, uh, the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, so how are you involved in what's in here? Or? All I can say is I have a Galaxy Nexus 2. Yeah. <laughs> and I slaved for six months last year working with the Google Android team in uh, Mountain View personally making this product happen because it's very dear to my heart. So how did that work? How did you do that? Well, we were fortunate that uh, Samsung Mobile selected OMAP 4460 to build the Galaxy Nexus uh, in partnership with uh, Google and we were delighted to join that three-way partnership between the Google Android team, Samsung Mobile and TI and we worked really hard to bring this innovative experience device for ice cream sandwich to the market. So why did uh, Samsung choose OMAP 4460 at that point in time in the history of smartphones? Well, because it's the best application processor on planet Earth at that point in time in history. It's, it's about price as well? Or is it only performance? Or is it memory bandwidth? What, what is it that you really like? It's about performance and memory bandwidth. It's uh, the device that's going to help our customers deliver the best user experience with the least amount of power consumption. That's what it is. So I imagine it's very hard work. I mean, for six months, what, is, what kind of work is it? What, what happens with Google? And what, you sit down, you just talk, or you, you actually, like, how, does, how do you organize it? Well, you know, with everything else, it's, uh, you know, extreme programming. It's, uh, it's not hard work, because when you're enjoying what you're doing, it's not hard work. You know, in TI, people were falling over each other to want to be part of this project. Because it's exhilarating to work on an innovative new device with the world's leading smartphone manufacturer, Samsung, and the world's leading software operating system developer, Google Android. So it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and I knew it and everybody who worked in TI knew it. So the whole team working on that project was in the same building together with all the other guys and the same company, everybody just worked together, is it how it works? Yes, building 45. That's the one? In Mountain View, Everybody's yes. Everybody's in there? Absolutely. It was a collaborative three-way project and we were delighted to be part of it and very thankful to be part of it. So, in those six months where you build the Galaxy Nexus, were there like uh, times where things didn't work or is it just a smooth process from the beginning to the end, you know, exactly where you need to go? How does it, how does it work? Well, I mean, the leadership of Samsung and Google made it very easy for us to be part of their execution. It's never a straight line, but that's what it is about. You know, this is innovative technology and you're at the cutting edge. So you learn and you change and you adapt. So does that mean the best programmers in the world are part of that team? Absolutely. You know, I can tell you that the Google has the best programmers on the world. How about TI and Samsung? TI tries to keep up. Like different kinds of programmers? or uh, who, who Well, you know, each of us have expertise in a different area. TI brings the expertise in application processes and silicon and software that's really close to the hardware. Google brings experience in the overall system, software and applications and Samsung brings expertise in building a device that can sell tens of millions of units worldwide. And it just works, I mean the, the chip comes out of the fab and it goes into the phone and just make as many as possible? I mean, how, is there any limits in terms of yields or all that calculation you need to make to make sure that it comes out on time? What if it was delayed? That would have been terrible, right? Exactly. No, we made sure it was not delayed and no, there were no limitations. Alright, so uh, the OMAP 4 got to be pretty popular in the Kindle Fire and a whole bunch of other devices, Arcos, and uh, so there was, there was some time in there that's, that's been great. And how, how are you going to keep up with that? How is it going to continue? Thank you. Well, we have OMAP 5 coming up. Yeah. In fact, at Computex we have really compelling demonstrations of OMAP 5. We have a couple of YouTube videos that I would like to direct you to. One is comparing OMAP 5, which is a dual Cortex A15 
chip in 28 nanometer, com comparing its CPU performance to a quad core chip, and we beat it hands down. It proves the power of the Cortex A15 architecture from ARM. And similarly, we also have another YouTube video where we compare the performance of our dual SGX 544 Imagination MP2 core to a leading cutting edge tablet device. And once again, in the graphics area, this benchmark is in the graphics, we beat it. So OMAP 5 is a 28 nanometer chip that brings the best of the CPU performance that the industry has to offer right now with the best GPU performance that the industry has to offer right now in 28 nanometer technology which is extremely power efficient and so it's the best chip once again on planet earth for mobile devices in 2013. Also low power? Very low power. Fits into a smartphone. It's big little. Is there something like that in It's there? what we call the smart multi-core architecture. It's our unique way of addressing the power challenges in smartphone and tablet space. So, uh, let's say there's a Christmas coming up in the six months. Is that too soon or is there anything you can say about that? I mean, the 28 nanometer is a big challenge, you know? How, how do you make sure it's going to work on time and all that? Or if it's Christmas or not, maybe next year only. I think, uh, I think OMAP 5 devices are going to be more CES and Mobile World Congress next year. What we have for Christmas this year is our OMAP 4470, which builds on our success of 4460, which was used in Galaxy Nexus, but in significantly increases the CPU and GPU performance, but fundamentally uses the same architecture as the 4460 that's used in Galaxy Nexus. So we are offering 4470 to our customers for building products for this Christmas, and OMAP 5, which is based on 28 nanometer, with dual A15 and dual SGX 544 MP2 for graphics, is going to be available in first quarter 2013. 4470, different uh, gigahertz? Uh... Yes, 4470 is uh, dual core A9 with 1.5 gigahertz, and graphics with SGX 544, that's at least twice more performance than the 4460 that's used in Galaxy Nexus. And uh, previously you talked about 1.8 gigahertz. Is that, uh, why is it not anymore, the 4470? Well, because we come to recognize by working very closely with Google on Ice Cream Sandwich that the CPU clock speed is not what drives user experience. The GPU and how well you take advantage of graphics and also the memory bandwidth that you have in your chip is actually far more important than the clock speed of the CPU. And how much memory bandwidth do you have now? Well, we have dual channel 466 megahertz with 4470 going to 532 megahertz with OMAP 5. So uh, how much better is it? compared to 4460 the well you can do the math I mean it, it gets to be 50 to 100 percent better 50 to 100 percent just from 4460 to 4470 4460 to 4470 is 25 percent better 25 percent okay thanks